Okay, uh, very good morning and uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Today we have a good special uh, guest from Korea, uh, Professor Lee. And uh, before his lecture, I would like to read uh, his uh, CV. Uh, Professor Kyung Yo Lee. Oh yeah, please for everyone to turn off uh, your uh, microphone, please. Okay, uh, I will read uh, Professor Lee uh, CV. Uh, Professor Kyung Yo Lee is a faculty member at the Kyung Park National University. Uh, he is member of Korean Society of Applied Entomology. He also plan quarantine committee member of animal and plan quarantine agency in Korea. He graduated uh, his um, BSc in biology, Kyung Park National University, Korea. In he earned his master in insect systematic in Kyung Park National University, Korea. In he earned PhD in insect physiology, physiology in Ohio State University. Uh, his research interests, uh, he has experience in international collaborative research project on the analysis of global invasive uh, invasion of plant virus and vector insect, the relationship between plant virus and vector insect, studies of biological control technique of agriculture pests, development of mass rearing of natural enemies, development of molecular diagnosis technique of insect and mite, studies on physiological analysis of diapause and cold hardness of insect, and he also studies on integrated pest management. So he has a lot of uh, experience. Professor Lee uh, visited Indonesia in 2018. He uh, has a MOU with uh, our department in the same time. And as a realisa uh, realization, uh, he also uh, provides scholarship for studying a relationship between insect vector and viruses. And we send a Santi to pursue PhD in uh, Kyung Park uh, National University. Uh, Professor Lee, uh, so we have about 100 students here in this classroom. Uh, we have some faculty members. We have uh, about 60 students from graduate school. And we have uh, undergraduate, about 20. We have uh, alumni. And we have some uh, participants uh, from outside IPB too. So it's about uh, no, 137 already. Professor Lee, uh, I think it's time yours. So we have about uh, 60 minutes for a presentation and discussion. So time is yours. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So now you see just a moment. Mohon mohon dipin untuk host. You see the screen? Not yet. So we are waiting for the screen. Yes. No, I mean the my presentation. Not yet. See? Oh, I can. Okay, just a moment. Just a moment. Can you see? Yes. 
my presentation? Yes, we can see it. Okay, okay, okay. Just click the presentation probably, because now it's still. Can you see the title? Yes. Okay, okay. Now I can start, I think. Is that right? Yes, just please oh, okay, click, okay, click okay. presentation because yeah. it's too small. So you have to click the presentation in your screen. Is it too small? Uh, Santi, uh, could you help? Um, yeah, in the right bottom, uh, there is a screen icon. So you have to click it to make full presentation. Full presentation. Yes. Full presentation. Santi helped me, I think. <laughs> Where is your PPT file? Uh, huh? Your PPT file? PPT is. Uh, no, this is a problem. PPT file is here. Just, uh, you know, this is, I already opened this one. PDF, I used oh. PDF. Oh, well, because uh, this is a PDF file, ah. so maybe. Uh, oh, PDF file. Yes. So it's not presentation. It's okay then. Is it I thought that it's a uh, PowerPoint. PowerPoint is okay. Yes, PowerPoint is okay. Okay, just a hello. I'm not much familiar with it. <laughs> okay, PPT. It's okay. PPT. PPT file. It's a PPT file, it's, the, 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 it's a big, big file. And then Share. I zoom. This one. And the here. Share uh, screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Can you see? Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. The picture in the full screen? It's yes. not full screen yet. Not full screen. Slide show. Oh, this one, this one. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Slide show. This one? Is that okay? Not yet. Yes, I think it's okay. It's not full screen. It's not full screen yet. Oh, yeah, it's now it's, it's a full okay. screen. Yeah, it's full screen now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now it's a full screen. Yes. Okay, everything is okay, right? Yes. Okay, okay, I will start. <laughs> Actually, this is uh, my first uh, Zoom uh, presentation. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I put uh, the pictures. Uh, this is uh, when I visit uh, in 2018, uh, July 6th, in your lab. <laughs> Yes. So it's a uh, it was a good time, and then I think the you know the you can see uh, on the table the white fly, the many white fly classified your uh, your 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 uh, something data here. <laughs> I think this is very uh, interesting to me. So actually the. Uh, my uh, one of my uh, major research is uh, the white fly uh, genetic uh, diversity, and then something uh, uh, factors uh, role uh, because it's a uh, uh, white fly, the, the particular in Bemisia tabasi transmit many uh, the, the, the dangerous virus to our crop plants. Okay. Okay, at the first, uh, I'd like to say in Indonesian world, Selamat pagi, Samoanya. Selamat pagi. Selamat pagi. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. <laughs> I, I love to see you. Uh, uh, Santi. <laughs> 
Okay, so my title is uh, the importance of studying insect uh, genetic distribution mm. uh, lessons from uh, sweet potato white fly, Pemesia tabasi. Uh, previously, I used the subtitle a little bit specific uh, is that the relationship between uh, plant virus and vector insects, uh, TYLCV transmission by white fly. Uh, actually, you know, the TYLCV, we had uh, a very serious uh, damage of uh, TYLCV in tomato uh, cultivars previously. So, okay. So, uh, I have uh, today's presentation um, may include uh, some data of uh, Santi Susanti, our uh, Indonesian graduate student. Uh, she's doing uh, nice work at my lab. And then uh, Dr. Jagan Shin, uh, she is a postdoc. Uh, she also doing some, uh, a lot in molecular uh, study. And then uh, Professor Sok Chan Lee, uh, I had a visit with him to uh, uh, Indonesia two years ago, Dr. Brunama's lab. And then uh, doc, uh, Dr. Gil, uh, uh, Oijun Gil, uh, he is a uh, uh, former graduate student of uh, Dr. Sok Chan Lee. Now he is a uh, uh, professor at the uh, Andong National University. She got a job this year, <laughs> this year as a professor job. So she, he is uh, Dr. Gil, uh, Dr. Actually, Kill, his last name is Kill. It's not good uh, last name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 English uh, spelling is not so good. But the uh, Korean name, is, family name is Kill. He is also very uh, uh, excellent in uh, 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 Begumo virus study. So I think uh, you can also. Uh, uh, communicate with him in the future. Okay, so the, the sweet potato white fly, Bemesia uh, tabasi, is uh, my uh, the best uh, interesting uh, insect uh, because uh, this uh, uh, species is uh, very small but uh, very significant impact to our agricultural uh, 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 cultivation uh, in our agriculture. So uh, here you can see the adult, and then this is uh, the, the microscopic uh, picture uh, we took uh, on the on the tomato leaf. Uh, so we can see all developmental stage of uh, Bemesia tabasi, and then uh, adult here, uh, and then this is the nymph and different stage, and then here is a younger, uh, younger, uh, first looks like a first and second instar, uh, and then you can also see the eggs on the tomato leaves here, so, we took, uh, you can see easily uh, all the stages in the one single leaf like that. Uh, many uh, individuals here. So this is, uh, I think uh, I'd like to say uh, three important, uh, uh, important uh, uh, characteristics of uh, uh, white fly Venetia tabasi. At the first, uh, uh, Benesia tabasi can see more than 500 plant species. So this species is very uh, wide of uh, polyphagous. They can feed almost all uh, in crop plants and then flowers and then also weed. So it's a uh, very wide of uh, polyphagous. So you can see many crops uh, damaged by the Demesia uh, tabasi. So this is a very uh, significant in 
as an agricultural pest. And then second, Bemesia tabasi is a factor of more than 100 uh, plant virus. It's uh, 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 just like aphid, this is species is uh, a very important factor of plant virus, particularly uh, begoma virus. So many uh, serious begoma viruses transmitted by the Demesia tabasi. So, and then this is come from uh, other papers. Uh, you can see uh, the, in the worldwide, uh, the serious virus is transmitted by the uh, Venezia tabasi like that, even in papaya, I think. And then another uh, important uh, uh, point of this species is that uh, this is uh, uh, one of the worst invasive uh, species. Uh, in the in the international organization uh, uh, selected 100 species which are uh, uh, highly invaded around the global invasion. So Bemesia tabasi is one of them. Uh, in here, uh, 100 species, uh, plants, uh, something fish, animal, and the insects. There are, uh, I think, of uh, 15 insects selected. One of them. I think this is Bemesia tabasi. Uh, Bemesia tabasi uh, uh, pictures. So, uh, so in so in the, in the Bemesia tabasi is uh, okay. So highly polyphagous, and then also transmit plant virus, and then they also highly invasive. So these kind of characteristics are very uh, important in our agriculture, uh, agri agricultural systems. So I think uh, this is very interesting species to study uh, in, in, and then also important for the uh, control of this species. Okay, uh, I would like to introduce uh, several stories and then first uh, story one is uh, genetic diversity of Bemesia tabasi. Uh, the Bemesia tabasi is uh, uh, Bemesia tabasi is uh, the Korean name Dambe Garui. The, Sweet potato white fly. Okay, so in one of the characteristic of the Bemesia tabasi is uh, species complex. Uh, this means that uh, morphologically indistinguishable sensing. We cannot distinguish morphology, but uh, they have uh, different genetic characteristics. So we call this one uh, this kind of. Uh, uh, characteristic uh, is a species complex. They have a, a complex of different species. So Bemesia tabasi now, uh, it's uh, at least 43 uh, cryptic species, uh, consists of uh, 43 cryptic species around. Formerly, we called this as a biotype. However, uh, recently we found that uh, uh, more than uh, the biotypes, uh, so the numbers are uh, the, the increased to 43 like that. And then I mentioned it the wide host range, and then this is also a vector of plant virus. So I focus on the, uh, the, the species complex uh, characteristic. This is a little bit old, uh, 2010, uh, Dr. Dean Stale, uh, classified uh, the Bemesia tabasi uh, into uh, at least 24 uh, biotypes. Uh, among them, uh, their uh, genetic divergence is uh, the, the 34 percent between them. So very wide uh, genetic uh, diversity 
is uh, present in their groups. So among them, I think uh, the uh, usually we consider uh, the species boundary of the CO1 uh, uh, divergence is actually 3%. So uh, in more than 3.5% uh, genetic diversity is uh, appeared in 24 biotypes. However, uh, more than 11% uh, has uh, 11 biotypes. This is uh, 11 biotypes has more than 11% uh, uh, genetic divergence. It is very wide uh, divergence. In this case, uh, they are, are definitely uh, not the same species. Consider there's a, a different species like that. But now it's increased the, the numbers to 43 to critic species like that. And then this map uh, show uh, grouping of uh, different uh, genetic group uh, at least uh, uh, seven uh, seven genetic groups uh, around in around the world. In Asia, we found uh, Asia one, Asia two, something Australia Pacific groups, something like that. But uh, uh, recently, the, in, this is uh, uh, divided into more than uh, twenty five uh, uh, critic species in Asia. Okay, so. Uh, I just compared uh, the genetic variation of Benesia tabasi with our uh, humans. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is chimpanzee and then human. Uh, the difference in nuclear gene is only about 1%, uh, as you know. And then, but the difference in mitochondrial genes are 9% between uh, chimpanzee and human. However, in Bemesia tabasi, uh, MED critic species, Mediterranean uh, critic species, which is uh, highly invasive and then uh, spread into many countries. Uh, and then uh, another uh, critic species is JPL, uh, Japan uh, Nonicella, uh, uh, this species uh, present in, in Japan and Korea, uh, like that. Uh, these two uh, cryptic species are morphologically identical. We cannot see any differences between them. However, their uh, genetic uh, variation is that the mitochondrial gene is 17 to 19 percent different. But uh, we don't know still uh, nuclear gene difference. But Compared with the human and chimpanzee, 9%. However, uh, the, the difference between uh, critic species in MED and the JPL, almost uh, 10 times higher, uh, the, the, the two, uh, okay, two times higher uh, differences. That means uh, these two, uh, genetic variation difference between these two cryptic species is uh, wider than uh, chimpanzee and then human. So we consider these two are uh, uh, really uh, different species. Okay, like that. So uh, Bemesia tabasi is very wide uh, genetic variation. Okay, uh, this is a, uh, we, uh, compare all uh, 25 uh, critic species in Asia, and then just like a bi biogenic tree like that. And then we found that uh, the dominant group is Asia 1 and the Asia 2 1 critic species, and their variation is uh, 0.122, 24 percent, very wide, still wide. Uh, and then uh, there are some. Uh, Invasive uh, critic species, MED, and then MEAM1, uh, spread in many countries in Asia. These two uh, critic species also uh, invaded into Korea about uh, 15 years ago. Okay. Okay, now uh, the uh, Santi. Uh, she is a Santi working uh, molecular <laughs> analysis like that. 
And then our lab members uh, in, in, in last December, uh, Santi is here. And Santi did a nice work on analysis of Java Island. Uh, she collected uh, white flies before coming to uh, here. And in one, two, three, four, five uh, regions in Java Island, and then analyzed uh, uh, cryptic species, uh, CO1 analysis, and then found that uh, three cryptic species are present in Java Island. That is, there are Asia 1, and then Asia 2, 5, and then Asia 2, 7 cryptic species. And then dominant is uh, uh, Asia 1 in star uh, everywhere, but uh, Asia 2, 5 and Asia 2, 7 is only in Bogor and then uh, Bandung, this region, West Java, uh, restricted to West Java, like that. And then she also analyzed uh, the, the virus uh, in, ingested in white fly, uh, just like that. And then she found five viruses uh, ingested into white fly samples, and then also tested some uh, plant leaves. Uh, there are four of viruses detected in uh, host plants like that. Okay. And then she also did a uh, phylogenic uh, relationship. Uh, Asia 1 is here, Asia 2, 7, and 2, 5 is small numbers, uh, small individuals they can analyze. And then this is a, a haplotype analysis of each uh, cryptic species. Asia 1 is major group uh, in Asia one also here is uh, there is a major uh, haplotype and then some a uh, few uh, individuals are uh, uh, the, the, the differentiated into different haplotypes like that and then Asia two seven and Asia two five had small numbers like that. But this table uh, summarized the uh, each uh, uh, Asia, each cryptic species has uh, ingested the virus in there, and then their percentage. Uh, in this case, uh, the the tomato yellow leaf curl Kanchana buri virus was uh, detected a lot in Asia one uh, white fly. And then uh, pepper yellow leaf curl Indonesia virus is uh, detected, 23% detected in Asia 1 and then Asia 2, 7 uh, cryptic species. So these two viruses is highly uh, ingested uh, into Asia 1 and Asia 2, 7, uh, some one, one, one or two, I think, uh, individuals. That means Asia 1 uh, carry uh, these viruses into uh, other uh, transmit these two viruses a lot. Okay, uh, this is the uh, some uh, summarize the uh, data of uh, each uh, twenty five uh, 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 cryptic species uh, found in Asia. And then uh, we want to know uh, each countries in Asia uh, uh, has uh, uh, which uh, critic species like that. In Indonesia, the, the Santi found Asia 1, uh, Asia 2, 5, and Asia 2, 7. However, previously, uh, I think Dr. Kurunama and then also mentioned uh, MEM1 was in, in, in detected in Indonesia, and then Asia 2.6, and then Asia 2.12. So until now, uh, six uh, critic species is identified in Indonesia. Uh, other country too, we also, the blue circles are really uh, found in our study, uh, black circles in the, our, uh, the, the found in the, our the reference in other papers. Uh, you can see in China, there are many uh, uh, 
critic species present uh, in, in China and then Japan also too. But in Korea, we have only three uh, cryptic species. Uh, these two, MEAM1 and MED, is invaded, invaded uh, cryptic species. And then JPL, uh, is, this is indigenous, indigenous uh, cryptic species in Korea and Japan. Uh, so we uh, continue to monitoring uh, something uh, Asian uh, indigenous cryptic species may be uh, invaded into Korea in the future, I think, because uh, the weather's change, uh, something in climate change may have uh, 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 induced something uh, movement of these cryptic species in other countries. So then make something uh, direct uh, effect or something uh, transmission of other viruses uh, may be possible. So we need to uh, continue to monitoring of the movement of each uh, critic species uh, in each country may be highly uh, interesting to uh, study I think, for, for the future. Okay, this is, uh, we, I, I just put uh, in the map so we can see easily, but uh, this is too complex. I put <laughs> all critic species here, too much complex. Uh, so uh, I, I divided into each uh, cryptic uh, species. This is only Asia one. Uh, you can see distribution of Asia one uh, in Asia. Uh, this is Asia two, one, and to 12. So this is also pretty complex. I separated the two, each uh, sub uh, cryptic species, but uh, here is all together. This is Asia 3, is uh, very few, uh, Taiwan and then uh, Japan. Asia 5, only China. Uh, Asia 4, Asia 5. Uh, this is also China 1 to 6 also around in China, JPL, MEM1, MED is a widespread in Asia like. So I think this kind of a mapping, uh, mapping is very interesting and then good data. So we can uh, uh, keep uh, monitoring and then which uh, critic species appear uh, newly in, in another country may suggest uh, something uh, invasion uh, of uh, 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 different critic species like that. So we will continue to monitoring uh, uh, the, uh, the movement of uh, each critic species in, in other countries. Uh, so uh, using uh, international collaboration. Okay. Another story is uh, endosymbiotic bacteria uh, of Bemesia tabasi. Uh, this is uh, the uh, nymph of uh, the Bemesia tabasi. You can see this is the first thing star, uh, very small. Uh, and then this is the last thing star. You can see something ye yellow spot here. This is uh, we call the bacteriomes, bacteriomes. Uh, it, this is a specific organ of bacteriocyte that housing uh, endosymbiotic bacteria. <laughs> so that means uh, bacteria uh, is accumulated here and then uh, make a specific uh, tissue in bacteriocyte. Uh, so there are many, uh, okay, they have uh, something uh, special uh, function and the relationship uh, uh, interacting <laughs> with the uh, host uh, individuals. Okay, uh, endosymbiotic bacteria, there are two kinds. Uh, primary endosymbiont is obligate and then they always present uh, in the host uh, uh, insect, just like, uh, uh, you know, the uh, mitochondria, uh, 
uh, or chloroplast in the in, in the cell, they were uh, previously the bacteria, but uh, uh, long uh, evolutionary uh, process, they uh, uh, permanently belongs to the, the cells, right? So that kind of things uh, obli obligate uh, symbiont. Uh, instead of a chloroplast and the mitochondria, uh, this, uh, the, 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 the white fly also uh, obligate the symbionts uh, like that. But the, as well as a white fly, there are many uh, uh, plants also has uh, this kind of uh, symbiont, uh, usually the, the plant sapping insects, such like aphid, uh, plant hoppers. Uh, they, they usually uh, feed a uh, plant juice, but the plant juice uh, is not much enough uh, food, uh, so they need uh, another uh, something nutrient. However, uh, the, the, these kind of bacteria and the symbiont, uh, the, the symbiont provide uh, the, the, the another uh, nutrient to the host. Uh, they make a uh, the, 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 uh, the symbiotic reaction, I think. And then, so you know, the uh, secondary and the symbiont is the facultative. In this case, uh, uh, some individual has a symbiont, but others don't have. Uh, it's facultative, and then but uh, these kind of facultative symbiont has uh, uh, many uh, different uh, something uh, uh, relationship with the host, uh, some kind of stress, and then uh, and the host plant too, and then also so they help uh, defense of uh, uh, against the natural enemies of the host or like that. And then also they manipulate host uh, reproduction. Uh, for example, the you know the Ulbachia, Ulbachia and the symbiont uh, uh, manipulate uh, many insect reproduction uh, activity or like that. Uh, here, uh, parthenogenesis, uh, something feminizing, uh, genetic male is okay. Cytoplasmic. Incomparability, or like that, and then uh, also the facultative uh, and the symbiont has uh, important uh, uh, function in the virus transmission in vectors. So I will introduce that point. Okay, in in Pemesia tabasi in, in sweet potato white fly, uh, we found. One uh, primary endosymbiont, Bordera arellodidarum, and then uh, at least six uh, secondary endosymbiont has been found: Arsenophonus, Cardinium, Brichia, Hamiltonella, Riquecha, and then Ulbachia. Uh, their uh, infection uh, is uh, biotype dependent. That means uh, some biotype has uh, Arsenophonus. But other biotype don't have arsenophonus like that. Uh, even in uh, one biotype uh, in, in population, their presence is very diverse. Depend on population, and then depend on individuals like that. So uh, we analyzed that point. Okay, this is uh, uh, Santi's data. Santi analyzed uh, in, uh, secondary and the symbiont. Five, five endosymbionts uh, present in each individual uh, she collected. And here is arsenophonus. She found that there are two subgroups of arsenophonus, A1 and A2. And the cardinium also two subgroups, C2 and C4 subgroups. Cardinium is detected in Demesia Tabasi in, in Indonesia, Java Island. Hamiltonella on H1, we catch R1, and then Ulvakia is W1 subgroup is detected. Okay, this, this table is, uh, okay, uh, the percentage, percentage 
uh, on each uh, cryptic species, Asia 1, Asia 2, 5, Asia 2, 7. For example, uh, Asia 1 has uh, percentage 41% uh, infected by arsen opponents, but 74% uh, uh, infected by the cardinium, mm, so very high level. Uh, Riketia, uh, 89%. Ulbakir is infected almost all individuals, like that. Okay, so uh, this is a geographic distribution of second and the symbiont of Venetia Tabasi in Asia. We just uh, uh, summarized with uh, uh, the, the information from um, other papers and then our study just uh, uh, mentioned the ratio of each uh, uh, end symbiont. Uh, how, for example, uh, Indonesia, the, the, the ratio in the Riketia is more higher than others, uh, but the, some, the ratio is a little bit different in each country. However, the, it's, uh, the, the analysis is a little bit difficult because uh, the, the ratio is too much diverse. So, uh, I'm not sure yet uh, how we can use this data to uh, understanding uh, the role of uh, relationship of uh, endosymbiont. So we will, uh, any, anyway, we, we will continue to uh, uh, analyze this kind of things. Maybe if we can get more data, we can get something uh, important uh, uh, characters of endosymbiont. Okay, and then story three, the, the, one of the interesting is the uh, plant by transmission of Bemesia tabasi, uh, which is a factor of uh, uh, most of the Begum virus. Actually, the Bemesia tabasi uh, is the only vector of, uh, of Bemesia tabasi. Most of the Begum virus is transmitted by the, this uh, single species, Bemesia tabasi. Okay, uh, this is uh, Dr. Sok Chan Lee's uh, data. Uh, he, uh, he summarized uh, uh, Gemini virus diversity, especially in Asia. Uh, there are several, uh, there are several uh, groups of Gemini virus. However, uh, in Asia, uh, the 50%, uh, 48%, uh, most, most of the Gemini virus is uh, present in, in Asia. More diverse uh, Gemini virus compared with other uh, 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 continents. So virus genome, 46, beta satellite, 94%, uh, alpha satellite, 98%, like that. So uh, in Asia has a highly uh, diverse, a highly abundant uh, Gemini virus is present here. So this is very interesting. Uh, we also have, uh, there are many different uh, genetic groups of uh, white fly, Bemesia tabasi, as well as Gemini virus uh, here. So uh, we have to understand what's going on uh, in these two groups uh, in Asia. Okay. Ah. Okay. Uh, so this is the if something uh, sounds uh, okay, uh, but that's okay. So, this is uh, the picture uh, picture I took in 2018 in in Indonesia uh, in the pepper pepper field pepper field. Uh, we found that uh, uh, the peppers are uh, totally infected uh, diseased by the this virus pepper yellow leaf curl Indonesia virus. So uh, I think uh, this is also. Uh, 
transmitted by the white fly is so uh, we need to know how much uh, uh, transmitted uh, vectoring and what kind of uh, 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 cryptic species uh, transmit uh, this virus or like that. We selected uh, 28 uh, Begum virus that is potentially highly risk in Asia. Uh, these data come from a collection from our collaborated countries. And then <clears throat> just selected uh, around uh, 29, uh, 30 uh, viruses. And then uh, we uh, try to, <clears throat> excuse me, try to uh, uh, make a relationship. Okay, here is a uh, white fly, Bemesia tabasi cryptic species, 25 cryptic species. And then here is uh, 29 uh, Begoma viruses. And then for example, MEM1 uh, can transmit rich virus like that. MED can transmit uh, rich uh, Begumo virus. I think uh, the all each cryptic species transmit not all the Gemini virus. I think uh, uh, they may have a relationship uh, between uh, critic species and then uh, Gemini Begomo viruses. Actually, this uh, data is not uh, complete, just the beginning. Uh, uh, we continue to uh, investigate uh, the relationship. Uh, however, uh, it, this is not easy because uh, uh, the actual transmission of each critic species uh, is difficult to study because uh, we don't have uh, we don't have uh, Asian critic species in here. Uh, the analysis should have to do, uh, conduct uh, their own countries. Uh, so uh, it may be difficult to do that. However, we just. Uh, uh, collect, uh, check uh, the ingested uh, virus in each uh, critic species, uh, and then uh, marking uh, which uh, critic species has uh, which uh, virus or like that. Maybe uh, not enough uh, data, uh, so, but uh, I think uh, it's uh, valuable to uh, 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 determine the the real uh, factors of each virus. I think. <clears throat> we will continue this kind of a study. Okay. And then uh, I just want to say, uh, it, it introduced uh, some kind of physiology stuff. Uh, effect of TYLCB acquisition on development and behavior of Bemesia tabasi. Okay, Bemesia tabasi is a vector of uh, uh, many uh, uh, TYLCB. Uh, however, th this Bemesia tabasi can transmit a uh, virus, but uh, they also change something in their body. So we analyzed uh, the cost of vectors uh, development and behavior. Okay. When we compare uh, non virulence that means uh, virus-free, uh, TYLCB free white fly, and then a uh, virulence that has uh, uh, TYLCB infect uh, acquisite white flies. We compared these two uh, uh, developmental rate of between these two uh, white flies. And then we found that uh, virulent uh, virulent has a uh, shorter, shorter uh, development and time. So non virulent is 31 days, virulent is 25 days, uh, almost six days, uh, shorter, faster development. Their development is faster uh, 
than uh, non villers like to uh, Adult longevity also, the earlier die in villers, when they got the virus, uh, their uh, life uh, uh, is shorter. Uh, we did uh, two different temperatures, 23 and 30 degrees, and same situation in 30 degrees too. And um, then, okay, and, uh, we also checked the feeding rate, uh, feeding rate. They, uh, white fly uh, inject their proboscis into the uh, plant leaves, and then uh, they have uh, durations. Uh, non fetally white fly uh, duration is uh, about uh, 20, 250 seconds. However, when they got the Begum of uh, the, the TYLCB, their feeding probing duration is very shorter, uh, 100 seconds, uh, just uh, less than uh, two minutes, right? Uh, so th this means uh, when they got to buy the QILCB, they probing uh, shortly and then move uh, another probing, another probing, very frequently probing in different uh, uh, sites. Uh, so that means uh, they can probing shortly and then move another short site, another site like that. That means, yeah, on the side of virus, maybe it's easy, easy, it's more uh, uh, convenient to, to spread the virus into other uh, other leaves, other plants, or like that. So that kind of behaviors we also watch it. Uh, and then we also checked uh, uh, light attraction. Uh, usually they attract to green light. Uh, green light is the best. And then here is also, this graph is interesting. You can see uh, the, these two um, non, non virulence B and Q biotypes. And then these two graphs are uh, virulence B and Q biotypes. Uh, when, they cut the, when they get the TYLCV virus, uh, light attraction is uh, uh, highly increased, highly increased, more than uh, uh, four times increased. So that means uh, a viruliferous uh, white fly attracted to uh, more light and that means uh, their movement is more uh, frequent and strong uh, to uh, to the light. Okay, uh, this is, um, we, we check the thermal tolerance, uh, thermal tolerance. Uh, we compared, uh, the, this is Demetia tabasi and then another species uh, like that. Chilling, uh, here is, uh, we, they have, uh, uh, TYLCB group, uh, the Bemesia tabasi has a lower uh, tolerance compared with uh, uh, the greenhouse white fly, T. vaporarium. However, in these two groups, uh, the, the TYLCB is non -ingest ingested, the virus free uh, Bemesia tabasi. Uh, has a uh, lower than uh, the, the TYLCB ingested one. So that means when they get the uh, virus, they have a uh, little bit uh, the thermal tolerance, uh, tolerance is increased. They have a more stronger thermal tolerance. Okay, like that. We also checked something, uh, this is a uh, gene expression pattern of uh, Hisha protein. Uh, this is uh, uh, the temperate uh, responsive uh, genes. Uh, we checked that uh, the, uh, this is virulence, uh, white fly compared with non-virulence. 
So when they got a virus, the, the stress protein gene expression is uh, always increased like that. So <laughs> you might be scared, I think. <laughs> this is a zombie. Uh, zombie is uh, something change. They, they changed their behavior by the something uh, pathogen infection. So, Bemesia uh, Tabasi also changed uh, their development and there's something physiological uh, characteristics by the infection of uh, acquisition of a TYLCD virus. So uh, we, I, I, I suppose that the uh, white fly is manipulated by the virus TYLCD to promote uh, virus uh, spread. So transmission. So just like a zombie, this kind of a zombie uh, uh, phenomenon is uh, also happened in the, uh, the, the white fly. In other words, this is Korean zombie. More uh, serious situation, I think. <laughs> I just, uh, uh, maybe something, uh, the, the white fly also maybe, uh, change their behavior just like a zombie uh, by the, 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 the TYLCB virus. Okay, uh, one thing the more the virus transmission and the endosymbiont. Uh, so I mentioned before the endosymbiont, uh, several endosymbiont is uh, uh, infected into the, the, the Demetia Tabasi. Uh, this endosymbiont also very important uh, uh, function in the virus transmission. Uh, this is uh, uh, Dr. Gottlieb's uh, data. You can see uh, the TYLCB transmission rate is this group is very high. However, this group is very low. Uh, that means uh, this biotype uh, don't have uh, uh, Hamiltonella uh, endosymbiont. So that means uh, the white Demetia tabasi, if they don't have a Hamiltonella endosymbiont, uh, their TYLCB transmission is very low. They cannot transmit TYLCB well. So in other, other ways, uh, they need Hamiltonella to uh, efficiently transmit a TYLCD virus. So they have a relationship, Hamiltonella and then TYLCD relationship, like that. So in, in, in this table uh, show that, uh, just an example, uh, B by type, Q, Q by type also Q1, Q2, Q3 divided. Yeah? And in this case, in Hamiltonella uh, is present B and the Q1. However, Q2 and Q3 don't have a Hamiltonella virus uh, and the symbiont. So in this case, these Q2 and Q3 cannot transmit TYLCB. But uh, in this case, uh, this is a uh, 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 Q2, they analyzed that one, right? So yeah, that's why. Uh, TYLCB transmission rate is very low. So I think uh, the molecular interaction uh, in the endosymbiont and then a uh, virus has uh, uh, occurred uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the hemolymph of the uh, Bemesia tabasi. So uh, Hamiltonella, uh, Grow EL protein uh, actually is defined to the, the coat protein of virus, TYLCB, coat protein of virus, and then protect TYLCB against a uh, host defense system. This is already known, uh, studied in Israel uh, 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 research group. 
However, uh, there is no studies on the other uh, uh, endosymbion. Uh, for example, arsenophonus may also have a similar uh, uh, function to protect uh, some virus. However, we don't know it. Uh, Cardinia, Riketsa, and Urbachia too, they may also have uh, some uh, specific uh, protective uh, function of uh, a certain uh, plant virus. But uh, nobody studied this kind of thing. So we consider uh, the which uh, 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 endosymbiont and then which uh, plant vi Begoma virus has a uh, uh, relationship between them. This is also an interesting study, uh, but uh, uh, not much uh, conducted in, in, in other groups. Okay, we did some experiment uh, and then uh, we made uh, the infection clones, uh, Dr. Sekchan Lee's lab, uh, nine Begum virus infection clones constructed, that's like that. Most of them TYLCB. And then we also did uh, what, what PALCUV and the TBLCB and then HIVB infection clause. And then allowed to ingest uh, Pimacia tabasi. And then uh, those uh, clone, infection clone ingested the Pimacia tabasi transferred to new tomato plant. And then check uh, new plant has symptoms, virus symptoms or not. But uh, we found that uh, TBLCB, uh, TBLCB, and then HIVB is not, uh, they don't have any virus symptoms. But otherwise, other uh, TYLCB has uh, virus symptoms. That means, uh, the Bimesia tabas, this is uh, the, the MED, MED group, uh, can transmit uh, TYLCB and then PALCUB. However, they cannot transmit uh, TBLCB and then HIVB virus. So we also checked in the, the presence uh, of uh, virus in the insect body and then host plant, but uh, nothing here. We didn't. Uh, there is no uh, virus particle even in host plant and then uh, vectors body. So that means uh, MED critic species cannot transmit uh, TB, LCB, and HIV. They can transmit uh, TYLCB, but they cannot transmit these, these two viruses. So like that. So uh, critic species uh, can transmit uh, some virus, but cannot transmit uh, some other virus of uh, virus. They have a differential uh, transmission uh, ability of Begum virus. Okay, so another story in TYLCB spread in Korea. Uh, TYLCB has spread uh, globally in many countries. Uh, this is also spread into the Korea. But uh, here it, we found that uh, interesting situation. TYLCB is transmitted uh, by the sea rather than uh, vector uh, insects, vector uh, white plant. So 2008, we found a TYLCB outbreak. Many tomato cultivars totally devastated, infected by the TYLCB, and then lost uh, great economic loss in tomato. And then <clears throat> just like that, 2009, also uh, all the plants are infected. So, and then here is we found that uh, all the plants, tomato plants are infected in similar, same, same symptom at the same rate, same rate. This is a very big uh, greenhouse. 
but the old plants are same pattern. So we suspect that this is not, uh, this kind of uh, symptoms are not uh, caused by the vector insect, white fly. In case of a uh, uh, white fly infection may be firstly occurred in, in, in front, of front on the gate side of the greenhouse. And then there's a something uh, great, uh, the gradual change, gradual change to the other side of a green, greenhouse. So there, there must be difference in the front side and then another, uh, the inside. However, in this case, uh, totally same thing. So this uh, means uh, another uh, transmission factors uh, occurred in this field rather than uh, white fly vectors. So we suspect something, even in the no white flies, maybe they treat the pesticide. However, nothing white flies happen, even though they treated the pesticide. So that is very uh, strange situation is here. So we test uh, other source of the uh, virus transmission. Uh, at that time, so the, the, the textbook said PYCB Begum virus cannot transmit it by the sea. So we believe that. However, uh, after watching the field of situation, we suspect uh, sea, seed may have uh, uh, already infected by the virus because they spread the seed equally, right? And then uh, the symptoms uh, appeared equally. Uh, same thing, all the field. So we check uh, seed, uh, the TYLCV in, in the seed, uh, just like that. And then <clears throat> Dr. Subchan Lee's lab also dissect uh, seed and then uh, cultivate the seed and then check the again. And then they found that the virus in the seed. Uh, in the cultivation of the TYLCB infected the seed, and then uh, uh, another uh, the, the, the generation also checked in the plant leaves. They also found in the TYLCB in the in, in the plants second generation. So in the really, so we confirmed that uh, TYLCB is uh, present in the seed. And then if, if we uh, germinate uh, growing those seed, the symptoms appear. So uh, we published the paper in the scientific report, uh, TYLCB virus is a seed transmissible, seed transmissible. And then now this is, I think, 2016. And then now uh, there are many, uh, and many Gemini virus also uh, can be uh, transmissible by seed. Okay, and then finally, and then uh, global collaboration, collaboration in on virus and vector monitoring in Asia. So the uh, we have uh, our colleagues. Uh, Actually, we have many uh, international students. So in, in, in Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Myanmar, something like that. And then some of our uh, interesting uh, the, the, the researchers in Vietnam, Taiwan, and the Indonesia. So uh, we need to the collaborate the research to monitoring uh, the, the, the vector white fly and the begum virus uh, movement around in Asia. Uh, actually, the Korea and Japan, we are very uh, concerned about the movement invasion of uh, uh, the new virus and then new cryptic species to here because there are many abundant uh, 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 species in here and then 
recent uh, climate change and the global warming uh, may be uh, spread to uh, east side and then some and then exchange to here too. So maybe happen in the future. Uh, even in, in this time, we have uh, every year uh, we have a uh, new species uh, identified. Uh, in, in, in the border uh, or in the field like that. So I think uh, it and then make a, a, a serious uh, pest uh, damage. And most of the, uh, the serious pest and disease are invaded ones, invaded ones. So I think uh, in the future, our pest and disease management is, must be focused on the invasive species. So that means uh, 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 very important in our field, our area. To do that, we need uh, international collaboration, international collaboration. So uh, at the first, we have to the, the best monitoring, uh, monitoring to do the best in our monitoring of the major pest and disease, we need to know occurrence and the movement of uh, uh, potentially dangerous pest and disease in each countries. And then share uh, information uh, every year. Uh, that would be very helpful to uh, preparing the management in each country, I think. So th these are the, our, uh, uh, our colleagues to share our, uh, our research uh, and then uh, hope to, hope to uh, communicate each other. Sometimes in the future, just like in Zoom, uh, Zoom uh, the, the, the conference like that. Uh, so maybe very, uh, uh, interesting uh, and uh, very helpful for our our research. I think. Okay, finally, uh, this is the picture, uh, and uh, I took uh, uh, at uh, uh, 2018 and then July at the Dr. Brunama's lab. I think at this, I think this is the Friday. The, I was very lucky uh, because they have a. Uh, lab meeting with the food. Uh, <laughs> so I, I think at the lunch time, so I uh, got the, I taste the, the, their, some of the, their uh, <laughs> lunch time food, I think. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so, okay, that's it. Uh, this is, it. I, I finish my presentation and then, uh, <laughs> okay, thank you very much, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the very interesting presentation, uh, Professor Lee. It was huge of information and I believe it must be done for many, many years work. Yeah, it's so. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Again, thank you for sharing. And the next session will be a discussion. <laughs> so to all participants, please write your question in chat room or you may raise your hand uh, in the Zoom. Okay. But before uh, discussion, let us uh, make Zoom photo. So for everyone, please turn on your camera. Okay. So please yeah. turn on yeah. all your camera and we will have a photo session. So we have 154. It was 173. But probably some of them wow. very busy. So now we have remaining 154 participants. So many, many. Wow, many. <laughs> <laughs> so who is going to take photo? Uh, probably the. Hagia. Um, Buhagia. Oh, Buhagia. Okay, please, Buhagia. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, next slide. Pakai gini bahagia, yang kedua bahagia pakai apa? Yang pakai tangannya gini bahagia apa namanya? Oh sarangnya pak, sarangnya. Sarangnya. 
Oke, next slide. Oh, suaramu masuk kok. Oke. Okay. One, two, three. Oke, okay, and the last slide. One, two, three. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, uh, now we are in the discussion session. So again, for uh, participant, please write down your question in the chat room. And so far we have uh, several questions, uh, at least five questions. So I will for you, Dr. Uh, Professor Lee. So we have one thing. Um, here's a graduate student. What factor make up cryptic that is permanent in the nature? Can all organism, especially insect, uh, form of this? Yeah, this is in Indonesian, so I try to translate it to English. Uh, you gave me a question? Uh, actually, yeah. I didn't catch it. Uh, can you say it again? Okay. I'll read it again from Fajrin, a graduate student. What kind of factor that make up a cryptic species? That's the first question. And the second, does this include species that is permanent in nature? I mean, it is natural, naturally happen. And does it uh, happen in all species or only in insect? That's the third question. Uh, what what kind of uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, I'm I'm sorry I didn't catch. <laughs> so, okay, the first question is uh, what kind of factor that uh, make uh, insect uh, to be a cryptic species? Ah, what kind of factors? Yes, make, this uh, is the first question. So probably I will make one. Uh, question first, and then second later on. So please answer this question. Okay. What kind of factors make a cryptic? Uh, this is very <clears throat> difficult question. Uh, in evolutionary process, I think uh, the the environmental pressure. Uh, Induce uh, the species uh, divergence. So, Bemisha Tabasi is globally present in Asia, Africa, and then America, and then globally present. In that case, uh, the environmental condition uh, situation is different. So, that kind of uh, different pressure induce uh, different uh, 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 differentiation to the adaptation to their environment. They make a, uh, uh, make a different uh, evolutionary develop into different species like that. So it, it, it takes, I think, very long um, evolutionary uh, time. So, in thousands of years or more than thousands of years or like that, right? So and, and during that kind of evolution is the process, uh, Bimesha Tabas is diversified into uh, many different uh, cryptic species like that. I, I suppose that. So, but uh, we don't know uh, what kind of factors uh, induce this uh, cryptic species divergence. And I think there are many factors in temperature condition, humidity, or something. Oh, oh one of the important thing is that uh, uh, host plants also may be very important for diversified uh, cryptic species like that. 
I, I, I suppose that eventually the, these kind of critic species also more uh, advanced in the future and then make a really a, uh, different species, uh, some of them. But uh, one thing interesting, interest, interest thing is that uh, usually uh, the species diversify they also change their, morph their structure morphology like that, like a uh, human and chimpanzee or like that, right? Uh, however, in case of Bemesia tabasi, their morphology, their structure is not much changed, even though their uh, 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 the, the genetic characteristics of uh, others, uh, something, it, the host plant, something like that is diversified. That is uh, still, I don't know why, so it's questioning. So anyway, uh, uh, there are many uh, uh, factors may be uh, involved in the uh, critic species diversification. I think. Okay, thank okay. you. And uh, the second question from the same person. Mm. Uh, does this uh, speciation occur uh, in nature permanently? Does this uh, speciation occur in the nature permanently? Yeah, I think it's a normally, normally it's speciation is normally occurred in, in, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the in the nature, but uh, uh, something uh, artificial or human may have uh, uh, involved in the recently something kind of something uh, the, the, the overuse use of the pesticide. They make uh, uh, something uh, different characteristics, but uh, that is a very minor things. For, for example, the you know the in, in the. Uh, the last uh, the several uh, 70 years, we had uh, used uh, a lot of pesticide. And that white fly, for example, a few by the MED, MED critic species is highly uh, resistant to the many pesticides. They changed their characteristics, right? Pesticide uh, tolerant level is changed. That is uh, one of the characteristics of the MED critic species. However, that is just a single one of the many uh, different characteristics of the MED. Uh, but uh, uh, artificial is very small, but uh, most of them, I think, are naturally, uh, naturally uh, influenced on the species diversification, I guess. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, the third question from the same person actually uh, already uh. answered it. So yeah, it's a question actually, can the speciation have- uh, Wondering because uh, mostly our study is about the white fly from Java Island, the viruses, uh -huh. yeah, only from Java Island. And you know, Indonesia is such a big uh, archipelago countries. That's right, so, yeah, right, right. right. So right. It, I think in the future, we have to uh, survey, we have to collect more samples from different parts of the countries. Right, and right, then, right, right. Yeah, and then probably we can find any surprise. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> there are some population probably in Sumatra or in Kalimantan or uh -huh. in uh, Celebes that have different uh, cryptic species, maybe, I don't know. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. yeah, but I think for the viruses, I mean the big virus, we have a better uh, information regarding the, uh, the, the strain and the types of the viruses from different part of the uh, countries because we have some isolate from Sumatra, isolate from Bali, isolate from Sulawesi and etc. So now I think it's about the white fly uh, information that we are waiting for to understand, you know, the pathosystem of the uh, Begomovirus diseases. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Yeah, so I think, right. I think Indonesia is very big country. So you, I, I suppose that you have uh, another uh, indigenous species in other uh, 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 islands. Uh, so I think it's uh, very interesting to study to uh, Bimesha Tabasi genetic diversity in, in Indonesia, I think. Yeah, so maybe one of the students here would like to continue the study on the white fly uh, genetic diversity. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay, good, very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Bu Asti and Prof. Lee. We have been two hours in the class, so it's very interesting in, uh, lecture today. It's a lot of questions. And yeah, we have to end uh, the class session today. And again, on behalf of the Department of Plant Protection of IPP University, I would like to thank to Professor Lee this wonderful lecture and hope sometime you will have uh, another lecture. And uh, I would like to ask everyone to give a clap hand in the Zoom reaction. So you may use uh, your reaction for everyone to have a clap. Thank you for Dr. Professor, uh, from, uh, Professor Lee. And I would like to give you a uh, e-certificate. So uh, e -certificate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. this is uh, e-certificate for you from our department. Okay. Uh, probably present the certificate to Professor uh, Lee uh, Kyung Yol for the uh, wonderful lecture today. Uh, thank you very much. And again, we'll give a uh, uh... Thank you very much. Uh, it's really my pleasure, uh, the colleagues and the students. the uh, the oh yeah 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 okay thank you very much okay uh, everyone okay uh, for the all student and participants and so thank you very much room so you can to professor Lee. Thank you, Prof. Lee. Pak Teguh nggak mau tanya. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we. What if, if we still have if, uh, study together? <laughs> the student could be the because of. Korea drama. <laughs> ah, yeah, drama. <laughs> so you can enjoy, yeah, Korea drama. Not too. drama only, actually, also the K-pop. K-pop. Ah, yeah, K-pop. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Good, good. So and also the Samsung. Yeah. So <laughs> Samsung. Undergraduate yeah. student, you, you listen that uh, Professor Lee left still open, so... Mm. Okay.
apply to Professor Lee uh, Laboratory. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You have a senior there, Santi, and it's very uh, good student there. Thank you, Prof. Yeah, okay, thank you, thank you, yeah. Yeah, we had we, we reached uh, 173 uh, participants in the peak. Yeah, it's a lot of participants today. Yeah, because of uh, um, undergraduate class of biotechnology, what was uh, I forgot the title of this hmm. course. Also joining today. They just decided this morning that they want to join, so our ah. participants is increasing. 